everybody. Welcome to another Goggles Goes to Europe. And uh, we're in Oslo again this time, but we're going to head east. Uh, we're going to go through Karlstad. <laughs> and I'll uh, give a shout out to Chris when we go through there. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, not uh, much different here. This is my... Uh, ooh, this is Eugene Scania. And I got it done up... Uh, well, the problem is I got to earn some more money and get some more trucks. I've got two trucks in my three trucks in the garage, two other than this, and uh, I'd like to get some more trucks going. So we got to uh, make some more money here because I've been spending it on trucks. I only got three slots in my garage. Starting so gotta, route to destination. Got to update the garage. So we're trying a couple new things here in this. Uh, video. We've got a few new mods in here we'll talk about. Let's get going and then we can chat about the mods. And looks like we got to head out that way. So we got a new skybox. Oh, I should have got the... I'll put the uh, link. It's in uh, Steam. I'll put the link in the uh, description. I uh, can't remember. Skybox 2.5 or something or other. Um, Anyway, it looks pretty good so far. It works with Grimes Frosty Winter, so that's kind of neat. Boy, that GPS screen is sure dim. Wow. That is strange. Let's have a look and see. This may turn up the instrument lights, but probably won't touch it. Let's get all these things turned on, too. Yeah, that didn't make any difference. Ah, wow, that's weird. Okay. Turn right. Oh, the neutral uh, GPS as well. I'll put the link to this mod too. It's a new. Um, it gives me a new uh, GPS screen as well, I believe. In 50 meters, turn right. Maybe that's why the GPS screen is dark. Turn right. <laughs> Not good advertising for it if that's the case. But I like the voice. Turn left. So I bought this trailer, and uh, hopefully, uh, I just wanted to get some different loads. Maybe we're gonna In go. In 50 to meters, a, turn right. The destination. Turn is right. Cotsnor. I should have looked. Was that a yield or a stop? This doesn't matter. I stopped anyway. So Yane, uh, one of the viewers and Discord members, uh, put some... I was asking questions about some of the signs. Man, look at that sky. It's fantastic. So anyway, I was putting uh, put a question out about you know asking about that uh, square sign on uh, you know tilted 45 degrees, and um, turns out that is a uh, if you've got that sign, everybody on all roads leading into the road you're on have to yield to you. So that's kind of handy. Have everybody give way to you. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit. And then if you see it with lines through it, then that ends. So take the exit now. <clears throat> start being more careful. Uh, and uh, what was the other thing? Uh, that oh yeah, the sign with the red through it. That means that that local speed limit is over in the town you were just in. I think. It, I think I asked that uh, question when I was in Italy. Came out of that Keep town. Keep right. Then take the exit on the right. A well, good thing she's on the ball. I'm having take trouble, the exit on the right. Trouble picking up my uh, the exit on the right. Go straight. Oh, which one straight? I guess this one. Uh oh. Keep doing this. I drive an 18 speed and then uh, 
previous video and then I come in here and I get all messed up with the 16 and I shouldn't because it's the same. Wow, look at that. That's fantastic. Let's get a screenshot of that. Might be another one. Maybe make it the thumbnail for the video. Okay, so uh, I also put that... Uh, I might have had it in last time. Or maybe not. That mod that... Um, makes the, uh, the polar night thing. So if you do drive into the night, like you get on a ferry and get to the other side and all of a sudden you're in the dark, that will um, just be a very brief night. It probably won't even really get dark, so kind of a cool thing. Now we got to pick up the pace. It's 80 here. Excuse me. skybox I think I'm gonna I like this more than so far than uh, JBX and the price is right JBX get kind of annoying the way they're doing the going after the money thing the way they are as aggressively as they are And the thing with this mod that I really like, I uh, haven't seen it in action yet, but this could be it. Uh, is, uh, so if you've noticed, without these mods, like, um, or going one-to-one -one in a one-to-one -one map, the sunrise or sunset is over almost straight away. Like you get into it, and then, well, it's done. So, with this, maybe it will uh, prolong those uh, times of day when you can see the sun setting and rising. Which would be nice. Some of my favorite times. I used to really like when I was driving uh, out of Calgary here that when you go east of all things because you're going away from the mountains because we're right on the transition from the prairie to the east and foothills and mountains to the west. Sweden. Hello Sweden. So with that transition you uh, when you're driving away from the mountains in the morning there to the west and typically unless we've had some strange weather like we did in the last few years the mountains are covered in snow all year long up in the peaks when you're driving east and the sun is rising you get that orange right across as far as you can see from one end of the horizon to the other uh, orange sun, sunrise on mountain snow off in the distance it's fantastic really good view and uh, yeah one, that was one of my favorite things to be doing and you're heading out <laughs> going east and saving fuel because it's flat <laughs> more or less a few river valleys and things to drive through but uh, yeah for the most part pretty good on fuel and if you're going east um, uh, from Calgary you're going downhill because it's like uh, if you're going down to Winnipeg or some Manitoba, it's a 2,000 foot drop. Doesn't sound like much, but you are steadily falling, which is nice. Usually with a nice tailwind. Boy, this looks great. Go straight.
nice scenery too. Uh, look, on top of the lighting effect, we're driving through some pretty nice country here. First time for me. I have a sneaking suspicion this Carl statue should be coming up. Imagine this is going to look good when I come through here sometime in the summer as well. Oh yeah, I'm using that real, uh, that sound, that interior sound effects mod. And uh, once again, look for that in the description. I'll try and remember to get all of the mods I'm using in the description. I think I've been missing a few lately, but I also, like I say, I've just added a bunch. <laughs> Funny thing, this morning uh, before doing this video, I thought, well, I want to get a new truck. And uh, even though I kind of get a little more in the bank, really, but I... Uh, Okay, so that sign means everybody's yielding to me when they come on the road. So anyway, I got um, went into the Steam Workshop and I was going to try that Ford F Max to see what it was like. And uh, I don't have a single axle tractor in my uh, inventory, so I go in and buy it and I spec it out and I got it all looking just fine. Go straight. And. Uh, I go to purchase it. Uh, I don't have enough room in my garage because I already have three trucks. Though, a waste of time. Hate it when that happens. I wish I would tell you before you before you start doing that to remind you that hey, dude, need more slots in your garage if you're gonna do this. Or just say you know you're not gonna be able to purchase this truck at the end because you have no place to put it. So think about it. A little reminder. For us absent-minded folk. Anyway, that was a waste of time. So I guess instead of buying a truck, I should uh, obviously expand my garage. So I left that uh, that money cheat thing in a little longer. Can I make some more money? I want to really want to experience more trucks, more trailers. Yeah, so instead of buying a truck, I bought this trailer, because I'm intrigued by it. We don't see this very much here in North America. Uh, I think I used to when I was younger. There was, It was more like flat decks with stake sides. They weren't very tall, I seem to remember. Go straight. Used to see them uh, fairly often. Well, that's weird. 70, 50, 70, 50. That's the thing. It's like a speed trap. Like the <laughs> something the cops had set up just to nab speeders. Well, I'm disappointed. I must have missed Karlstad when we uh, went by. And if I did, Chris, I'm sorry, man. Oh, Karlstad, here we are. Hey, hometown of the Grizz. Thanks for being a loyal follower and watcher, Grizz. Appreciate it. In your comments, keep them coming. Karlstad. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to give a shout out to uh, RSP at the beginning. I 
real sim pilot as he uh, donated this uh, Crone trailer pack and this trailer I'm pulling is a Crone from that pack so I wouldn't be pulling this trailer without him and for that I'm very thankful oh sign said 90 but I guess that's for cars Well, we've dodged a ticket. We haven't had an incident. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a typical drive. But the way things have been going lately. I guess up here in the, in the Scandinavian countries, I think the double trailers are legal. So that'll have to be a purchase here one of these days. I think what I'll do with the... Uh, proceeds from this trip and the bit I have is uh, I'd like to upgrade the garage and or buy a new one so if I buy a new one I can I think it's three slots right away so instead of upgrading to get two slots in the existing garage I should buy another one and think about where I put it the current garage is in Rotterdam and uh I don't know. Maybe one up north here. And Go then, straight. Then what we could do is, uh, after that, expand south. I would like to. I'd like to explore France a little more. That was pretty interesting. And uh, I like those 90 kilometer an hour roads. Those are pretty cool. And a gamer pointed out to me to uh, take the truck speed limiter off. So with it off on a 90 kilometer an hour road, like if you do want to pass or whatever, you have some speed in your pocket. I'm speaking of 90, that's what I'm doing now. We're going to get nailed. In 50 meters, take the exit on the left. Not sure I have much choice here. I, I don't know what this gal's name is. Take on. the exit on the left. She doesn't have one. I'll have to give, one, give her one. that to the grime so I've got grimes frosty winter and then on top of that uh, the heavy winter and then on top of that the clear roads kind of a good look you know the clear roads with that it's like you know the weather's been reasonably nice you got your snowfall but then the roads have cleared off a bit and it's uh, you know brighter days ahead oh man look at me go straight speed here straight. But, um, yeah, and then this, uh, those polar night mods, I think I have them, I think just below it, I'll have to look at my mod order. And then I have uh, the Go sky straight. box is below Grimes. So Grimes is on top of those other two mods. Grimes being the frosty winter. And uh, it's free, Grimes. Although I I throw in the uh, is it one euro to, for the download. It's not much, but boy, I've got so many you know, I've got a bunch of Patreon accounts out there for Patreon accounts that I support and mods and things I use, so... And I do have a Patreon channel, but... 
Yeah, it's kind of hurting you, but I gotta, I gotta think of more things. Well, actually, I gotta get this uh, live stream thing sorted out so once and for all, so I can finalize the uh, what's gonna happen there, and then get back to organizing my Patreon uh, channel on Discord and start getting those personalized skins going for Patreons. So that's got to happen. But I think what I need, uh, yeah, I need to really work on that. Go straight. And to the patrons out there, it's coming. Trust me. Just I'm kind of running out of hours every day right now trying to get this stream working. And the problem with it is, for some reason, like I've got uh, just under 80, I've got about 79 megabit upload speed here, which is lots. Tons of bandwidth up, and trying to get the right settings. And I'm seeing so much contradictory information. Like you look at YouTube how-to videos. And some people say this, other people say that, and you know, said it's crazy. And I think I'm getting close. I'm probably gonna have to do a bit more testing. And for all of the spamming you must be getting, and or seeing these notifications that you know. Goggles has posted a new video and right along with Goggles, all that stuff. So, but, you know, my apologies because it must seem like a, I don't know what I'm doing. And well, that would be true because trying to set up this uh, live stream properly is proving to be a bit more of a bugger than I thought it would be. It is not. I can have lots of. Uh, I've got lots of video card. Got a lot of poker. I got lots of uh, PC performance. I got lots of bandwidth. Shouldn't be an issue. So what I'm going to do after this video, I get uh, this up and rendering. I'm going to upgrade my OBS to 29 version 29. And it, it because I have a, I got a pretty high end uh, video card, but it's an AMD. It's a uh, Asus Tough Gaming. Uh, RX 6800 XT, 16 gigabit of DDR6, I think it is. Pretty good card. And um, I think the new. Uh, I watched a video this morning while I was having my breakfast, and uh, it was a uh, guy was reviewing 29, and it's got a bunch of new uh, encoder tweaks to it and they revised the AMD one so maybe that's my challenge is uh, you know so try that and there's a bunch of other options I could lean a little heavier on my CPU Keep if right. I want to then take the exit on the right so we'll get that sorted and then we'll get back to normal and get back to doing skins and uh, take the exit on the right instead of wasting like you know 10 12 hours a day trying to get a stream set in up. 50 meters turn left seems kind of absurd but what it's been. Bastards. Turn left. Oh, I gotta get fuel soon. Got the warning, what's it say? Oh, I've got 245 liters. I guess you wouldn't want to head out on a trip with just that, but. Go straight. In 50 meters, turn left. Turn left. Arrived at destination. Okay, let's get that signal off. And right over there. Kind of just like an ATS delivery when you have this. Uh, this is uh, s a similar. If 
not the same. Big pile of bricks. I'm starting to get them on the building. That's kind of cool. That looks authentic. I was saying in ATS video that uh, I thought it'd be cool if they showed a little more progress. But then again, like on these construction sites, but if they show too much, then they got to keep building more sites, which would be kind of painful for them. might give it to us. If it does, we're going to take it. Oh, there it is. I find that uh, it seems to stop you a little early. What do you guys think? Oh, so I went back a little far, but pull up till we get it. And we'll... So right there, let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, in terms of the distance. Like I, I see when I'm backing up to docks, if I stop exactly when they say to, they... whoops. Stalled it. I forgot to put it in neutral. No. Oh. So the trip wasn't without incident. <laughs> uh, no tickets. I was good. So there, that's big pay with that uh, money add on thing. So I think I'll be able to. Yeah, I'm going to definitely get a new three, three bay garage. Um, anyway. So hopefully we can get things under underway here soon with the live stream and uh, we can um, get on to uh, other things and taking care of the Patreons. I think that's a big, big thing I got to do is uh, get them squared away with uh, the skins. But anyway, as always, appreciate the heck out of you guys. If you've enjoyed the video, give her a like and a thumbs up. And if you haven't, let me know what I could do better. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe do that too. Anyway, all the very best, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.